All right, everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade the already awesome Asus G4 team with some extra RAM. So we're gonna upgrade the onboard RAM. We're gonna double it up with the 16 gigabyte memory card. So stick around, I'll show you how to open up the computer, check your settings and get it all set up. So to get started with your computer on, go ahead and hit Control, Shift and Escape and this will bring up your task manager. Over here on the left hand side, go ahead and click on Performance and then scroll down here and you'll click on memory. So this will bring up all the information that your PC currently has. So as you can see, we're using one of the two RAM slots. And then up here in the top right hand corner, you can see that we only have 16 gigabytes in use at this time. Okay, so to get started, go ahead and completely shut down your PC. You'll need a micro screwdriver, a pick, and then the RAM. In our case, we went with the Corsair Vengeance DDR5, 16 gigabyte, 4,800 megahertz which is essentially the exact same RAM that the motherboard currently has for a perfect match. Okay, so to get started with the entire process, go ahead and flip your computer onto its backside. Go ahead and take your pick and pry these covers off. They're just little rubber washers essentially that cover the Phillips screw head, so don't be afraid of damaging anything. It's, it's just metal underneath that. So go ahead and do that for the other two sides. So here I'll show you a close up. As you can see, I'm just kind of stabbing it and prying it up and eventually with a little bit of pressure, it should pop right off. As you can see, it's just a metal screw head, so once again, you won't damage anything, and it's just a little cover cap. You can keep it if you want or throw them away. It doesn't really matter. So once you got those out of the way, you have a few more screws to go. We have four on the top, three in the middle, and another set of four on the bottom. So go ahead and take your micro screwdriver. It is a Phillips in size zero. So that's essentially what you want to use, and it'll work for all of the screws. So I'll go ahead and remove these 11 screws. I'll also go ahead and speed it up just to save some time. And then we'll catch up once the screws are off. Okay, so once you get all the screws off, essentially just pick a corner. I like the corner here with the hinges and just start slowly prying. Make your way around the outer casing. Now if you do encounter a section that's not lifting, just double check to make sure that that particular screw is completely out. Also, as you pop these, um, the cover off, some of the screws might pop out. Just place them off to the side and just pay attention to where they go as they're tiny and hard to find. So once again, just make your way around the edge, prying slowly and carefully. As you can see here, I'm just working section at a time and the screws are popping off. So just place those off to the side and have somewhere to put them. And then just keep going around the whole edge until the cover comes off. Now the main thing is try not to force anything. It, it, it's pretty loose overall. Just kind of wiggle it if you have to and eventually the whole thing will just slide right off as you can see here. And then here we have the motherboard with the battery and everything exposed. And this is what we want to work with. All right, so right here in the center of the motherboard is your RAM slot. It's hiding under this particular flap. So just go ahead and grab your RAM. You want to make sure that the sticker side is up and the pins are going to be going down into the slot down there. So just line it up. As you can see, there's a hole in the center so you can't really mess it up. And then you're going to want to push that down. Now I did notice that this particular cable right here did get in the way. So I'll give you a different angle. So essentially, once again, take your RAM, slide it in. And as you do that, go ahead and pay attention to that cable that's right underneath the chip. So as you can see, it's kind of a two-handed thing. So with one hand, I had to move the cable out of the way and then push the RAM down. And then once you clear the cable, just keep pushing down on the RAM and it'll click into place. So these little arms will flex out and then when you're properly secured, they will snap right into the two little divots on the sides. Then carefully just move that cable, get it on top of the RAM slot, and then try to finagle that cover back into place. What I did, I tucked it in between the RAM, so under the cable and above the RAM so everything just holds in place. And then you are all set with that. So that right there pretty much concludes the installation of the RAM chip. So now all we gotta do is reinstall the cover. And kind of how it was with taking it off, putting it back on, I do like starting at the hinges because it's the trickier part to get on. And then just kind of slowly work the cover back on. As you can see here, I was getting caught on this screw. If that happens, just back them out and work your way around the corners again. So let's get this guy out of the way before I lose him. 
and as you can see we have two size screws we have the long one and the short one so the long screws go on the top and the middle so this hinge side and the middle and then the little ones go right on the front lip so in case you popped your screws out and don't remember where they go that's where those go so once again just slowly start pressing around the edges i guess don't force anything you don't want to break it but overall everything kind of just snaps slowly back into place and then once you have everything kind of lined up just go ahead and start screwing these screws back in so we'll speed it up here a little bit work your way around the outer edge and get all the rest of the screws in now one thing I do want to say is go ahead and lift your computer and check. If you notice that the cover isn't fully seated, just put some light pressure on it and it should pop right into place. Once you've done that, just go ahead and go over all the screws. Give them a, probably half a turn more than what they already did. You don't want to over torque them and break something. And then just check that you're fully sealed all the way around. So once you got everything sealed back up, go ahead and boot your computer back up. Once again, we're going to hit the control, shift, and escape to bring up the performance or task manager. Then go over to performance again. Click on memory. So as you can see down here, we are now utilizing the two of two RAM slots. And then once again, the top right hand corner to double check, we now have 32 gigabytes of RAM available to us. So that concludes our video. As always, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Any questions, drop them down below. We'll see you around for the next one.